With season two of the hit show Yellow Jackets coming out, the cast is full of rising stars who are only getting more popular as the series goes on. One of these up and comers is Jasmine Savoy Brown, who you've likely also seen in the latest two Scream films, playing Mindy. However, there's likely a lot you don't know about the actress who already knew she wanted to be a performer at the young age of four. We'll talk about Jasmine's early life in Oregon, how she got her start in Hollywood, and much more here for you on Famous Life. Jasmine Savoy Brown was born March 21st, 1994 in Alameda, California, and then raised in Springfield, Oregon. While there's little to no information about Jasmine's parents, she said in the past, I grew up in Springfield, Oregon, which is primarily Caucasian. I was raised by my white mom by herself. She did a wonderful job, but it wasn't really until I moved to LA that I realized I didn't even identify with my blackness. And that's been a whole part of my acting journey and my internal journey up until right now even. I'm still under understanding more about who I am. So it's been reported that Jasmine's father wasn't in the picture and she has no known siblings. Her mom was very supportive of her career, often filming Jasmine performing at home on their video recorder. And in a since deleted tweet, Jasmine even confessed she wanted to be an actress because of her quote unquote daddy issues. At age four, Jasmine had her first role in a church musical. And while she was young, it had a huge impact on her and sparked her love of performing. By eight years old, Jasmine was sure that acting was her destiny. Throughout her childhood, she took part in numerous musicals and was a member of a handful of musical clubs, choirs, and groups, including University of Oregon's Portland Shakespeare Project, Arts Umbrella, Oregon Children's Choir, and Upstart Crow Studio. After completing high school, Jasmine moved to Portland, Oregon to pursue her acting career. In 2013, Jasmine scored her first small role appearing in an episode of the NBC show Grimm. Then other small roles followed for her appearing in The Fosters and guest starring in a memorable role on NBC's Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Also during this time, she starred in the films Camp Harlow and Forgotten Hero. In 2015, Jasmine landed her biggest role thus far, playing the recurring role of Evangeline Evie Murphy in season two and season three of HBO's The Leftovers. Her character is the daughter of Erica and John, who goes missing with her friends after an earthquake. And speaking about her experience being cast for the show, Jasmine explained that she had just moved to LA and was couch surfing for a year. She finally moved in with a friend but was struggling to make money to pay for the place working graveyard shifts at a diner while auditioning at the same time. Jasmine further explains, then I got the audition for The Leftovers. The writing hit me on the deepest level. I just started weeping. I laid on the couch and memorized the lines. I didn't even practice them because I knew something in me knew them. So then I got the audition, did it, left and thought, even if I don't hear back, that was one of the best, most artistic experiences of my life. Then I got the call back and they wanted it a little lighter, which seems to be a theme in all my life. When Jasmine filmed for the post-apocalyptic hit series in Austin, Texas back in the summer of 2015. This was a season of firsts for the young star. The first time she flew business class, the first time she was put up in a fancy hotel, the first time she was paid an envelope of cash every week for her work. Following the leftovers, Jasmine was cast as Nina on the freeform show Stitchers and then was a series regular on the TNT drama series Will, which told the story of William Shakespeare. On this show, she played Amelia, who was a musician, poet, and writer that went on to become the first female professional English poet, who was also believed to be the dark lady of Will's sonnets. Jasmine is a regular on the Shondaland drama series for the people on ABC in two weeks before this show premiered. She signed with ICM Partners. She was then cast in the independent film Sound of Violence, playing Alexis Reeves, a girl who used to be deaf and goes on a murder spree. In 2021, Jasmine began to star in the Showtime thriller drama series Yellow Jackets alongside a stacked cast, including Melanie Linsky, Christina Ricci, Juliette Lewis, and more. The second season is in the midst of debuting, and in late 2022, the show was further renewed for a third season. On the show, Jasmine plays the young version of the character Tysa. The series focuses on a team of New Jersey high school girls soccer players who travel to Seattle for a national tournament in 1996. Their plane crashes deep in the wilderness, and the surviving team members are left stranded for 19 months. The show depicting their attempts 
attempts to stay alive while also dealing with their current lives in 2021. In terms of how Jasmine landed her role as Thaisa, she claimed she was close to passing on it. She said, I hadn't auditioned in months. I finally leave for vacation. I'm two days into it. And then I'm told you have an audition. I think my agent had to literally convince me to come back because I was so pissed. Fortunately, Jasmine took the audition and won the role of headstrong teenager Tysa Turner. Prior to this, in September 2020, Jasmine was also cast for one of her other notable roles of Mindy Meeks Martin in the fifth Scream film, directed by Matt Beth, Nelly Olpin, and Tyler Gillett. The movie came out in January 2022 with success, and Jasmine returned for the role of Mindy in Scream 6, which was released on March 10, 2023. She'll also possibly play the role of Mindy again in Scream 7 and 8, which are in talks but not confirmed. In her personal life, Jasmine identifies as queer and a lesbian and is proud to bring that to her acting as well. In Scream, her character Mindy is queer as well as a horror film geek who manages to survive Ghostface yet again. With Mindy's variety of pro-gay graphic tees and a stunning girlfriend, she's not afraid to show off. She's doing a great job of bringing diversity to the storyline. Even on Yellow Jackets, Jasmine is leaving her mark considering her character Thais is also queer. But when talking about her thoughts on this in Scream, Jasmine explains, but it's really exciting that now Scream has a gay character who's experiencing trauma, but the trauma isn't that she's gay and that's only fair. Mindy should also be getting stabbed up and chased and hurt and crying and screaming, but nothing to do with her sexuality. And that's exciting. And I hope that more of every genre continues to follow in the footsteps of these films and employ queer actors and have queer characters, but never talk about their queerness because what does that have to do with the story? Nothing. Aside from the major roles that Jasmine Savoy Brown is working on now, it's only the beginning for this up and coming star. She's also been dabbling in her music career and releasing a few songs on YouTube. And when asked about what she hopes to work on in the near future, she wants to do it all. She said, my biggest dream is to be on Broadway star in a musical. I work with a vocal coach and take dance classes. That's my ultimate goal. I would love to work with Lin-Manuel Miranda, obviously. In the Heights is my favorite musical. Well, we will just have to wait and see, but until then we can catch Jasmine in Yellow Jackets. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Famous Life and leave a comment for who you'd like us to feature next.